Hi there, and welcome to this um, really detailed instruction on how to do artist research. It's something that we talk a lot about in photography, and it's always good to look at different artists and see how they've created work, and then use their ideas, produce our own responses to them, to see how we can improve as photographers. Um, if you're studying GCSE photography or A-level photography, it's also a really vital part of your course. It's part of the assessment objectives. Okay, so this is what we're going to do first. First of all, I'm going to create a new slide in my slideshow by pressing the plus button in Google Slides. If you're not familiar with Google Slides, it's a free application that you can download and you can create slideshows, very much a version of Microsoft's PowerPoint. Now, we are going to I've produced a worksheet before about an artist's and the artist we're going to look at is Matt Winaiski. He's a very hard to pronounce name. Um, he does double exposure portraits. Now, what we're going to do, obviously, we're going to look at his work on the internet. So I've typed in his name into Google. He's got a really good website. It talks about him in the website. So his name's Matt. His clients include Harper's Magazine, Young Giant, Time, etc. He's got links to all his social medias here. It's a picture of him. He was born in 1990. So what I need to do is go to my slideshow, type in his name. And then write a little bit about him. Born 1990. I go back to my web search. I can find the information that I need. He's an American artist and known for creating a popular artist of digital art. So, where is he? An American artist. Using nature and people to create exposure style images. We don't need to write a huge amount about him, we need to write our opinion. My opinion. Combining two images together to create blended double exposure pictures. Exciting to look at. Trick your brain into seeing at once. So there's my writing. Um, it's in a text box, so I can move it about on my slide. I need to find some examples of his work to add to my information page. So if I go back to the internet and look at images, and then we can find some really cool ones. I like that one down there. So we can go copy image, go to our slideshow. Now we can't just press 
right click copy, I have to press Control V on Google Slides. So remember to press Control C. I've got that one. That was really cool. Copy image. Resize the images. Now you can spend hours playing around with your design of your page. I'm going to find a couple more images. I always reckon about five is a good, good amount for this. So, More actually, let's go out of his website. Have a look on here. Then. That was really cool. So, got the image, go okay, to my slide chain, control V. Right there, and then I need one more. So, I think I'm going to go with that one. image and paste that there, rescale it, paste it there, rescale it there. Move the text box down just a little bit more space. Move that one over there a little bit. Move that one down there. Resize it. And there is my research part of the artist research. Next I need a new slide. Um, what I need to do is put a context sheet in. So because I'm making this as a video, I've actually gone off and taken the pictures already. Otherwise, you'd be planning what you need to take the pictures of. I went down to the beach with my model and took some pictures to use for the double exposure. And I'll talk you through what we do next. So in here, I've created in my drive a folder. I've called it double exposure. I've rescaled it using the corner button here. I mean, normally it'd be 100%, so it'd be far too big for a contact sheet. So I rescale it down to 50%. I've done a video on this as well, so you can watch the how to make a contact sheet video if you're not sure how to do this. I then go down to my snipping tool, create new, draw a box over my contact sheet. You could also do a screen grab if you prefer. Once I've done that, I'll just minimize that. I will go to my slideshow. I will press Control V, and there is my contact sheet. I'm going to really quickly name my slide. If I click here, it will come up with the name of my slideshow. So now I've got Have to Arts Research is the title, the information about Matt here. I've then got my contact sheet. Next up, we will need to do our response. So we'll put in response. Now, it might be worth, before we do that response, actually, just to add another slide and put in best four. Best four for response. And looking at my contact sheets, I'll go back to where I've saved them all, which is here. I really like the idea of the profile picture. Going back to look at these ones, I'm really interested in this sort of profile, like that one and this one. So I'll look for some profile shots. There's one there. So I'll make that big. I'll just use the snipping tool. Snipping tool, that one. Go to my slideshow. Press Control V. I've put it on the wrong slide, so delete them. If I want to reorder the slides, I'll just Drag me out of the way a minute. Move that one down there. Drag me back in the corner. Click on here. Press Control V. There's one of them. And then I will go back to where I've saved them. Come off that. This one looks really interesting as a profile as well. So I will use the snipping tool on that one. Now, the great thing about artist responses, right, you can do many different versions of it until you are happy with what you've done. So I've got the model's profile face, which I needed. I now need to find some images to add to them. So I'll go back to here. I've got some beautiful pictures of the setting sun. So I'll look at that one. And 
I use a snipping tool. Get a copy of that one. Go back to my slideshow. Control V. Pop that in there. So I think that would look really good with that one. Go back, get one more example. A different sky. That would work quite well as well. So go back to my snipping tool. Go new. Create a snip. Go back to my artist research. And paste that in. Now obviously, doing a video, you're trying to get everything done really, really quickly so you can see all the bits going on. I would have time to add some annotation to this to explain it in more detail, what I plan on doing. Move me out of the way again. On here, I would then be looking at putting my response. Now, I've already made my response in Photoshop a little while ago. So I've actually done a couple of double exposures, so I'll open both of them up. And I will find them in here. There's a whole other bunch of videos all about making your responses. I'm going to look in the right place, what they say. many different responses. There's one of them there that I've done for a different artist. But I think it works equally as well for this artist. So I will just use the snipping tool. And I'll pop my response in here. I've also done another one from a different contact sheet, so I'd have to include that contact sheet as well. File. Open. And I'll look for that one as well. There's a head full of clouds, I called it. There it is, so that one as well. Whoa. We would need to use the snipping tool. And control V there. Now, with our responses, there would be a lot of annotation that goes with it as well. Like I said, with this one, I would add. I use Photoshop. My response to what is well using multiple layers and blended images. And I'll put the details about my responses here. And I'll add another slide in. How I made how I made my responses. And for this, I'll go back to Photoshop. Take a screenshot. And paste that in. And again, I would. So 
check out of that. I'm not going to write all of it right now, but I will show you what we have so far for analysis research. So I'll just go on to present, and I'll talk you through where we're at so far. So we are looking at the artist. There's some examples of his work and a little bit of information about it. There's our contact sheet of the photos we took to take make create a response. There's the best four for our response. There's two of our responses showing you how we've done it there. And this would be the example of how I made my response. Obviously, I'm doing this as a video. I haven't got time to fill in all the details. I can show you some examples of how to make them on the other videos that I've saved here. So if you watch the video, you can see how you do it. And that would be what you would write in to the box over here. OK, hopefully that's given you a, a taste of how to do artist researches. And um, I look forward to seeing some examples that you do and have fun with it. Okay, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. And don't forget, if you enjoy what, what you've watched, thumbs up.